So here's what we're going to really be doing with our direct variation. We want to find a missing value. So we're going to set up a proportion, and our proportion is going to be um, the same each time. And we're always going to put y over x equals y over x. So for each of these problems, we should first draw our proportion out. And then we've got this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. So then I am putting y, negative 4, over my x, that's 2, equals y, that's my unknown, over negative 6. Now I can figure out what y is by doing our cross multiply and divide, or our butterfly method, or just solving for uh, the unknown here. So I would take these two numbers, negative 4, and multiply it by negative 6 and divide it by 2. So here my y is 12. Okay, same thing over and over and over. So when they are written like this, what's important is that the first set given to you is this first fraction and the second set given to you is the second one. So we can still do the same thing. So y is negative 18 when x is 3. y is 30 when x is, we don't know. So we want to cross multiply and divide. So we've got 3 times 30 divided by negative 18. x here is negative 5. So it's the same thing over and over. I'll put the answers to the rest of these on um, a, a picture of them, but uh, I'm going to move on so this video isn't a million minutes long. So on our word problems, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're still going to be setting up our proportion. Okay? And we know it's a proportion word problem because of this word right here varies directly. It literally tells us that it is a direct variation. Varies directly. Just a reorder of the same words. The sales at a baseball game vary directly with the number of people attending. If the sales for the game are $12,000, when 800 people attend, determine how many people attend if the sales for the game are 15000 So, why is how much money we make. So here's my first y, here's my second y. My x is the number of people. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one is y, which one is x, as long as you keep your proportions set up properly. So we got 12,000 over 800 equals 15,000 over x. And we're trying to figure out how many people this would be. And when I, so I'm going to multiply 800 times 15,000 divided by 12,000. And when I do that, I get 1,000. So 1,000 people would need to attend in order to make $15,000.